Hello, I'm Frankie and welcome to my channel. I'm a trained actress, singer and dancer who has an obsessive love for travel, food and all things fitness. One of my favourite things about travelling is trying the local cuisine and the local drinks. Beer and wine are my favourite, but I do enjoy the occasional schnapps too. I've actually become a bit of a gin connoisseur. It's amazing how many gins there are in the world now. I've always loved musical theatre and I've wanted to perform since I was a toddler. So I was incredibly lucky that I got to train at Italia Conti, the UK's oldest drama school. I graduated this year, 2021. Although, thanks to Covid, this year hasn't been great for graduates. However, Covid isn't all bad as it has encouraged me to start this YouTube channel, which serves as a great creative outlet. I'm learning new skills, including how to film on camera instead of using my mobile phone, and also how to edit, which is actually really difficult and quite time consuming. Whether you're into travel or food or music, I hope there's a little something for everyone in Frankie's world. See you soon! few days I'm going to be in Gosda in the Hearts Mountains and I'm going to do some exploring and I'll take you with me. It's beautiful old town. So this is ever so slightly scary. I am climbing up the stairs of the church to go to the tower in the church and look at the stairs. They've all been like this and they're pretty scary to go up. But the view is going to be lovely. Every time I walk up the stairs though, I feel like I'm going to fall and die, <laughs> or I might break. <laughs> I feel like you can't fully grasp how scary these stairs are, unless I film. <gasps> Honestly, I mean, <laughs> they're really scary. And I've realised as I get older that I'm getting more and more frightened of heights. So this is horrible, 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 horrible. E. This is the old clock mechanism. Pretty funky. And now to climb more stairs. <laughs> I've climbed up 193 so far. As you can see, we're getting pretty high up. <sighs> I 
hidden these stairs, don't you? Oh, actually, those ones are closed. Oh, thank God. I can't deal with the gaps. I keep looking down them and then I freak myself out. <laughs> All the stairs are numbered and they have different names on them. So I wonder who these people are. Are they something to do with the church? I do not know. I hadn't even realised there are bells here. The bells of Notre Dame. Although, it's not quite Notre Dame. We're not quite that high. Doo -doo. So, these are the bells. And the biggest of them, which I would imagine is the middle one, is called Johanna. And it weighs 6,861 kilograms. Sheesh kebab. As you can tell, walking upstairs with a mask is not fun. I'm panting like a crazy person. The bells just started ringing and they scared the life out of me. Um, unfortunately, I got my camera out to film them, and then they stopped, of course. But there we go. I was terrified by the bells. So the last few steps were up a ladder, and there's a total of 231 steps. And this is the view you get from the top. Wow. I love the red roofs. That's the market square. It's quite windy up here. Quite chilly. Oh, the wooden floorboards creak a little bit. A little bit too much for my uh, liking. It's so beautiful with the hills. If only there weren't cars parked. What a shame. It sort of ruined the look. So schön. Now it's quite a bit colder here than it is where I live. As you can see on the top of that hill, there's still some snow. I mean, not really enough to do anything with, but still, it's there. And this was only two euros fifty to come up here. So hopefully my two euros fifty goes towards keeping those Scary stairs, stable. <laughs> That's the brewery. And I think I might go there for my dinner. Outside of the church. So, yeah, it's quite high. Ooh, I wonder if that shop has any key rings. This would have been part of the old cathedral, dating from 1060.
So there's been a bridge here since 1160. And it's the King's Bridge. There is a three and a half thousand kilometer cycle route that come, goes from France all the way to St. Petersburg in Russia. And part of it is through Goslar. That would be a pretty impressive cycle route to follow. Wow. It'd be amazing.